as Robert said, I was briefing the Council on my recent visit to Gaza and the West Bank and Israel, where I visited the conditions on the ground in Gaza and in West Bank and indeed in Sderot in southern Israel, which is the subject of attack by the Qassam rockets from Gaza. Um, and I was making clear to the Council the severe humanitarian consequences on the ground for the people of Gaza of the political and security crisis surrounding Gaza, and not least since the Hamas takeover in June 2007. Um, for example, pointing out that uh, in January 2007, uh, sorry, in January 2008, only one-tenth of the goods uh, got into Gaza, which got in uh, in January 2007. Uh, and this is having increasingly severe consequences for the, obviously for the power systems, for industry, for agriculture, uh, for, for water systems, the sewage systems, um, education and health. Um, and therefore, uh, pressing very much as I did while I was there for uh, the crossing points to be reopened as soon as possible for more goods to be allowed in, humanitarian goods of course, but also more commercial goods because without a free flow of commercial goods there's not much chance of uh, restoring normal economic uh, and social life in Gaza, uh, which would obviously help the peace process in general. Um, I also talked about the West Bank where the situation is different, and the conditions of life are better um, in the West Bank than they are in Gaza, but the combination of the continuing construction of the barrier, the continued expansion of the settlements, and the, the closure regime which exists, um, blockages and checkpoints all over the West Bank, they are also having severe humanitarian effects in terms of cutting people off uh, from each other, cutting communities off from their services, and cutting individuals off from, from their land in many cases, uh, and also having a depressing effect on the uh, prospects for growth in the Palestinian economy.